for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger. Today we're going to really focus on exercises for arthritis. But before you begin this or any other exercise program, you want to make sure that you wear loose, comfortable clothes so you don't have anything restricting you when we move because we're going to be working on flexibility. Also, you'll want to have water to drink before, during, and after our time together. It's really important to stay hydrated. Also, you'll want to work at your own pace. We're going to be working very, very slowly to start to increase our range of motion and to get a little of that stiffness out of our joints. So if we're working a little too slowly for you and you want to pick up the pace, make sure you can do it slowly. And if we're working too quickly for you, you slow it right down. Also, you'll want to get your doctors okay. This is particularly important with arthritis because your doctor will tell you any medications that you're taking that might affect your ability to exercise. He might say, well, you know, you may need a splint or joint protection when you do some of these exercises. And he'll also tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. Then you want to make sure that you do your best. And if you do it consistently, that's how we stay nice and strong and nice and flexible. So you want to make sure that you don't push or bounce or force any move and you want to listen to your body. So if your body is going, okay, I can do really well on this side, but I can't turn too well on this side. Listen to your body always, always, always. And eat well. Good nutrition will help you stay nice and strong and healthy and always, always smile. But before we begin this program, you have to meet our friend Cookie. Oh, I'm, I'm Cookie and I'm glad to be working with Mary. And tell us a little bit about yourself. What are some oh, of the things you like well, to do? Well, I've been in uh, Simsbury for 13 years and managed to survive, and people are just uh, great here. I came from across the Hudson River in Nyack, New York. Uh, remember the old song, let's take a kayak to Quincy Old Nyack, we're the Nyack, and uh, had a great time there. Now, what are some of the things you like to do? Oh, I enjoy everything. I enjoy music. I'd like to think I could... Uh, skate. I haven't been skating recently, but I haven't given up the thought either. And um, I enjoy Mary's exercise classes very much. And I like to laugh. Oh, boy. So I enjoy your program <laughs> that way, too. <laughs> well, that's really good, and we're glad to have you with Thank us. You. And we're glad that you're joining us today. As everybody knows, um, there are basically two types of arthritis. Actually, there's a lot of kinds of arthritis, but the two most prevalent ones are osteoarthritis, which is a wearing away of the cartilage of the bone. And then there's rheumatoid arthritis, where your joints get really red and swollen and tender. So what we want to do is do exercise to counteract some of the things that happen when you have arthritis. What happens is sometimes you, you get limited in your range of motion. Your range of motion is if you go way up here and way back here, that's a big range of motion, and this is a small range of motion. Also, sometimes your joints get really stiff and you don't want to exercise, but one of the best things you can do is to strengthen and get flexible the muscles, joints, and ligaments, and tendons, you know, all around those joints to protect the joints. Also, what happens when you have arthritis is sometimes you get really fatigued. So it's important to take time to rest and that will help you control your fatigue. So if we're moving too quickly, then you just take time and rest because that's really important. Also, one of the things that happens with arthritis is sometimes people get depressed because their arthritis, their limited range of motion and stiff joints um, make them have trouble doing the things that they always did and they really love doing. So that makes them kind of sad. So when we exercise and we get our muscles moving and our joints nice and flexible, then you can do more of those things. But also exercising releases endorphins, which are your body's natural tranquilizer. Yay! So to manage your, ex your arthritis, it's important to exercise, and for some people, it's important to take medication to reduce their inflammation. Heat is really get good when your joints are stiff, so some people like to take a warm shower first thing in the morning. Um, also, people use creams, topical analgesic creams, so you probably already know what to do if you have arthritis. So what we're going to do is move very, very slowly. We're going to work both on strength and flexibility, so you're going to zip around the house and see what you have, which will be an, an equal weight in each hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using cans. Whoop, there we go. 
cans, jars of peanut butter, or cans, okay? Or if your grip is, is really difficult, you might want to have a smaller can rather than a bigger can. And if you want to get really, really strong and it's okay with your hands, you might want to have a giant can. So you can do that. Sometimes people with arthritis have a really hard time holding a can because maybe your hands are like this. If that's the case, you still want to do a little strength training if it's okay. So you can take a bag of beans or corn or something that will be pliable to your hand so your hand can move right around it or you can slip it into your hand. But you never want to exercise if the joints are red or swollen. So pay attention to how you feel. Also, you might want to take a Ziploc bag and fill it with a little, a little bit of corn or rice and then more and more when you get stronger and stronger, okay? So we're going to work with those for weights and for flexibility, all we're going to use is a plastic bag, just a grocery bag. So if it's hard for you to hold your fingers tight, and for some people it really is, you can just slide your hands right in the little handles and we're going to use this for flexibility, for helping us be flexible. You can also, of course, hold the handles in one hand and the end in another, but you'll figure out a way, whichever way is the most comfortable on your hands. So, say you'd really like to work strength training and you wanna hold a can, but holding it for too long really bothers your fingers. What you'll do in that case is you'll run around the house and you might get a nice thick glove. If you have a nice thick glove, that will help you hold the can without too much stress on those fingers pressing because that bothers some people. If you don't happen to have any big old gloves handy dandy, you might wanna take something like a face cloth and go around like this. And that's a softer grip for your hand. So when we work with these weights, you find something that works for you so that you can work with us at your own pace without feeling any pain. Now most of our exercises are done right at the edge of a big sturdy chair. Our chair doesn't rock, it doesn't roll, and because we're gonna be bringing our legs out to the side and in, you wanna look around and make sure there's nothing you're gonna crash into. But for some people, sitting at the edge of the chair is really hard for them, and if that's the case, you can just take a pillow and slide it behind your back like this, and your back can be well supported while your buttocks are towards the edge of the chair. By doing that, having your buttocks forward, you're gonna work the belly and the back, and it also allows you to have greater range when we step out to the side. I know that's a lot, but we're ready to go. Are you ready? All set. Okay, okay. let's have a little sip of water first. Mm -hmm. And you wanna remember that like things with caffeine, they dehydrate you. So that's why we have good old water. Now, we wanna get warmed up first of all. So we're gonna start right at the top of our head. With our head, we're gonna take a slow, deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna tilt the head to the side just a little bit. And if that's okay, we'll breathe in. And as we breathe out, we'll tilt the head just a little bit more and you're gonna feel a nice stretch right here. And if that's okay, we'll breathe in. And as we exhale, we tilt the head just a little bit more so you feel a really, really nice stretch on the side of your neck. And then slowly you come back to center. Great. And then we'll go to the other side. We breathe in, lengthening the spine. As we exhale, we tilt the head just a little bit. So we always look in at ourselves and say, let's see, is this okay? Is this okay? This is okay. So we breathe in. And as we exhale, we relax the head a little bit more so it's a little more stretch on the neck. Good job. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, stretch it a little more and feel that really good stretch on the side of your neck. And then slowly we breathe in, come center and relax. That was great. Now we're gonna work on turning the head, but we're gonna take three times to turn our head all the way over here. And that way, if at any time you feel like you wanna stop, then you go right ahead. But keeping the cervical vertebrae or the neck flexible is really important. So we breathe in, our spines are nice and long, and as we exhale, we turn this way just a little bit. We breathe in, lengthening the spine. Exhale and turn just a little bit more if you can. Breathe in, 
Exhale and turn just a little bit more. So this is as far as we can go comfortably and then we slowly come back to center. That was really good. So now we're going to go to the other side. Always pay attention and ask yourself, is this okay for me to do now? We breathe in long spine. We exhale and turn a little bit. Good job. Breathing in. As we exhale, turn a little bit more and it's only if it's okay. Good job. Breathe in. And as we exhale, turn a little bit more so we have a nice stretch on the side of the neck, rotating the head. Good job. Slowly come back to center. That was great. Okay, now we're going to work with the shoulders. So we're going to breathe in, pull the shoulders up a little bit, breathe out. Ah. Now we're going to breathe in, see if we can pull the shoulders up a little bit more, breathe out. Ah. One more time. Let's breathe in and pull those shoulders up as high as they can go comfortably. And as we exhale, ah, doesn't that feel good it when you let go? I like it. <laughs> so those, those work the muscles right along here in the little bit of the side and back of the neck and the back of the shoulder a little bit. Now we're going to bring our shoulders steady. Our shoulders are straight. And we don't want to bring our shoulders front because we don't want to ever tell our shoulders that's okay. So we really want to focus on breathing in. And as we exhale, pull those shoulders back, squeeze those shoulder blades, and relax. Breathe in long spine. And as you exhale, see if you can get them back a little more. And as you pull the shoulders back, you're going to feel the chest open right up. And relax. Now the third time, that's where we really push those shoulders back. Breathe in long spine. And as you exhale, really pull those shoulders back, pull those elbows back, open up the chest. Good job, and relax. Wow, could you feel that? Yeah, that felt good. That's pretty good, and you're doing a great job. Stay with us. Now we're going to do one shoulder at a time. So we're sitting nice and tall, and as we breathe in, we lengthen the spine. And we lift one shoulder up and allow the other shoulder to come down, and then relax. Now we're going to bring it up a little higher. Breathe in long spine, exhale, pull one shoulder up a little higher, good job, and relax. Now we have one more time to go, so if you can, you're going to bring it up as high as you can comfortably. Breathe in long spine, exhale, and pull that shoulder up just as high as it'll go, reaching down with the other arm, and relax. So when you work one, or what they call asymmetrical training, a lot of times you'll really focus on a shoulder or a side of the body that doesn't get that special attention. So the special attention goes right here. We breathe in, lengthen the spine, exhale, and as we do, we bring the shoulder up a little bit. Good, and then we relax the shoulder down. That's it. Breathe in, bring the shoulder up a little bit more. Exhale and relax the shoulder down. One more time, so we'll bring it up as high as we can come comfortably. Bring that shoulder right up to the ear. Good, and relax it down. Wow, that was pretty good. Feeling okay? Good, yeah. Excellent, okay. Now, we're going to circle the shoulders, but we're not going forward. All we're doing with our shoulders is pulling them up a little bit, drawing them back a little bit, and relaxing them down. Very nice. Pull the shoulders up a little more, back a little more, ah, and relax them down. You're doing great. Only one more time. We pull the shoulders up as high as we can go, back as far as we can go, and down as low as we can go. Good job. Okay. Now, we're going to be reaching the hand right over the head, but we're going to work at getting there. So, we bring the fingertips to the shoulder, bring the other hand under, and we're going to push the shoulder up, the elbow up just a little bit. Feel that nice stretch? There you go. And then you're going to release the hand. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, with this hand under, you're going to push the arm up just a little bit more. Can you feel that? And relax down. Good work. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, we're really going to push this arm up high and we're going to reach way up to the top shelf. Good work. And relax it down. That was great. Let's work the other arm. First, the fingertips can relax towards the shoulder. If that's difficult, you can just bring the arm up. Because the other hand comes underneath, we breathe in. And as we breathe out, we stretch that elbow up a little bit. So we're trying to get our shoulder to release so we can stretch that arm up. Good. 
We breathe in. This time, as we exhale, we push the arm up a little bit, so we're stretching high now. Very, very nice. Relax down one more time. Breathe in. And as we breathe out, we reach up, and then we stretch up as high as we can go. Good job, and relax. But you'll notice that we do things a little bit at a time, just a little bit at a time, and you're doing great. Now, we're gonna have our fingertips by our shoulders. We're gonna breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're gonna to tilt to the side and stretch one arm up as high as it will go and reach down with the other arm. Good. If this bothers you or is uncomfortable, then you simply place your hand on your thigh. Stretch as high as you can go comfortably and then relax. Good job. Fingertips to the shoulders, breathe in. And as you exhale, you tilt. And then one arm stretches up and the other arm stretches and lengthens down. Again, if this is difficult for you, place your hand on your thigh and stretch up so tall. Good job and relax. Very, very good. We are really getting warmed up here. You're doing terrifically. Now, we're gonna take our hands and bring them in front. Slight bend in the elbows. Beautiful long spine as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're bringing both hands. And so you actually push with this hand. This hand's gonna be the pusher. You're gently gonna push your hands, so a little bit, breathe in, breathe out a little bit more, good job. Breathe in, long spine, exhale and push a little bit more, good, 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 and relax, wow. Let's try it again, this time we're going that way. So our arms come up front, we have a little bend in the elbows, we breathe in, long spine, exhale, and this hand's the pusher, it's gonna push a little bit, we breathe in, Exhale, and this hand pushes a little bit. Good job. Both buttocks are on the chair. We breathe in long spine, and we exhale. We're gonna push with this hand. Good work. That's a heck of a stretch, and relax. So that starts the rotation, because we do that in everyday life. We'll reach around to grab something. So this is a really good exercise to do. Okay, working with the arms again. We're gonna take one arm and cup under each elbow. And if that's difficult for you, you can cup under each wrist, or you can hold one hand on the other, or make a little ball, whatever is the easiest for you. But again, we're gonna do the little rotation, okay? So we're gonna bring our arms up just a little bit, just away from our ribs. We breathe in long spine, and as we exhale, we pull a little bit to one side. Good, breathe in. Breathe out in a little more, good. Now this hand is the puller, breathe in and pull. So we push the first time and now we're pulling and this is the biggest stretch and we relax. Whew, could you feel that a little yep, bit? Yeah, feels good. Good, okay. Now this hand's gonna be the puller because remember we pushed and now we're pulling. Okay, breathe in long spine and as you exhale, pull the elbow a little. Good job, breathe in long spine. Exhale, pull a little bit more. Good, good, good. Only one more. Breathe in. And as you exhale, pull, pull, pull. Boy, oh boy, what a stretch, what a stretch. And relax. Whoo! Let's move the shoulders up, back and down. Very, very good. Very good. Now we're simply gonna bring our hands crossing in front and bring them right behind us to our chair. Crossing in front and behind us to our chair. Good. Crossing in front behind to the chair one more time crossing in front and behind in the chair now as we cross in front we're going to lean back a little bit and as we bring him back we're going to lean forward a little bit so we're working from the joint of the hips and as we lean forward a little bit we're getting a gentle stretch in the back and as we lean back a little bit we're working the stomach so here we go lean back a little bit and breathe out Shh. Breathe in and breathe out. Shh. Good work. Breathe in and breathe out. Shh. Great job. And now we're going to chop. So we have our hands together. We go from this shoulder to this hip. This shoulder. Now you'll notice as you bring your hands to the shoulder, that elbow lifts. Good. One more time and lift and other side. Good work. So you're right here. The elbow lifts a little bit, chop down, lift, good, chop down, lift, elbow up, good, one more time, shoulder and chop, wonderful, wonderful. I'll bet George Washington did that exercise before he chopped down the cherry tree. 
Okay, now we're gonna bring our hands up like this. So our elbows are in line with the shoulders. If it's difficult for you to have your elbows in line with your shoulders, you may want to bring them forward a little bit. So you're going to decide, okay? Then you're going to bring your hands down a little bit and lift up like a goal post. Football, and down, and up. Now we're going to bring them down a little bit more. Oh boy, oh boy, I can really feel that in my shoulders. Mm, me too. And up last time, try to relax those shoulders. It's really hard because they want to roll forward and up. Good, let's bring our elbows together and down. Woo! Now, this time we're going to pat our back and pat our neck. So I'll show you from the side. You're going to take your hand and you're going to pat the back of the neck and then sweep it down and pat your back so your thumb is up. Good. And then your thumb is down. Thumb is up and thumb is down. So you pat your back slowly, and then you pat the back of your head. Good work, and that really works that whole mm -hmm. arm. Can you feel that oh, little yeah. bit? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Taking the hand, and just do your best. If you can't get to the back of the head, if all you can do is get your hand here, that's great. That's a start. That's wonderful. Move slowly and move pain-free. So we're gonna get as close as we can to the back of our head. Then we're going to sweep the arm down and bring it behind us so it's thumb up. Good. And then we bring it out, thumb down. So we pat the back, and then we pat the back of the neck. And again, if you can just bring your hand down this far and then just up this far, that's okay too. One more time. Back, nice and tall, nice and tall, good job. Back of the head and relax. So that's working on the range of motion and you did fabulously. Just fabulously. So, are you ready to get your cans? All set. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're going to get our weights. And again, remember, if holding on to something bothers you, for a lot of people, holding the thumb over on one side and the fingers on the other side is really bothersome for their thumb joint. So all you have to do is take your thumb and bring it right over here. So you can have all of your fingers, your thumb and your fingers, and grip, get a good grip like that, okay? So I'll grip mine like this, and Cookie will grip hers with her thumbs over it. So you're gonna find a way that works best for you to get nice and strong. So we're gonna relax our hands down by our sides, good. We're gonna breathe in, keeping our elbows down under our shoulder. As we breathe out, we're gonna bring our weights right up to our shoulders and slowly down, good. So what we're doing is we're strengthening the muscles, good. And the muscles are gonna pull on the bones a little bit. But what we're doing is we're strengthening the muscles and we have ligaments and tendons around the joint. And when you have all that good supportive work around the joint, it makes your joints a little less painful to move. Good job. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Excellent. How was that? Good. Okay. And we need that one because we pick up bags of groceries and we pick up things. So we do this a lot. Okay. Now we're going to bring our hands, palms down. Relax the shoulders, and what we're going to do is we're going to let our little can stay right here, right here, and we're going to get the mo mo motion first. We're going to be using the muscles right here around the shoulder joint. All we're going to do is bring our hands just up chest high, good, and down, okay? So now our arms know what's going to happen. Relax the shoulders, and you know, if what you're using, you're saying, wow, this is a little heavy for me. What you may want to do when you do the front raise, of course, you have to pull the belly in and sit nice and tall, is you bring the back of the hands up and then bring them all the way down by your sides. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. And if I say to myself, you know, this is really getting heavy, and even though I'm going slowly, it's, it's a little too heavy for me, but I still want to work with the resistance. So what I'm going to do is just take one weight. I'm going to bring it up and bring it down. So I'm working the muscles around the front of the shoulder. Good. So any way you can do this is great. Good job. That's it. That's it. And one more time. Beautiful. And then relax. Because you can really feel it on the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that yeah. on the shoulders? Good. Good now we want to get the back. So we're going to hold our weights. We're going to breathe in long spine, we're going to breathe out, and with our palms, we're going to push back, 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 
back, back, just a little, just a little, just a little, good work, good work, good work, and relax. Wow. Then we're going to put one on each leg, bring one knee up, and then the other. Now, if this bothers your hip flexor, which is right here, or your thigh, or your belly, you can bring the weights a little closer to your hip. So the closer the weights are to the hip, the easier it is on the leg. But we want these legs nice and strong. Good job. Now we're going to step out a little bit. Out a little bit, out a little bit, out a little bit, and other leg. Out a little bit, out a little bit, out a little bit, and other leg. Again, a bit, a bit, a bit, and in. One more time. A bit, a bit, a bit, and in. Good work. Now we're going to put these down and we're going to grab our bags. And remember, you can shoot your hands right through, and that way you won't have to hold on to anything. Or you could hold on, shoot one hand right through. You could actually probably punch a hole right here. Mm, I bet I can do this because this is a plastic bag. I can punch a hole right here. There we go. And I'll just stick my hand right in there. There. So any way you want to do it. We're going to breathe in. The hands come up a little. And as we breathe out, we're going to turn a little bit because we're all warmed up. Slowly come back to center. Now we're going to bring our hands all the way over our head. Whoa, good job. Only do what you can. Now we're going to bring them over there. And a little turn. Good. Now we're going to come back to center. Good. And we're going to bring one up and one down. There you go. And one up and one down. Now we're going into a big figure eight. So you'll notice that we're moving very, very slowly. Very, very slowly, always making sure we do not have any pain at all. Great job. Good. And then we're going to come right back to center and relax the bag down. We're going to make a little tiny loose fist and open up the hand. A little tiny loose fist. Then we're going to do what they call cat claws. Cat claws. Cat claws. Then we're going to circle the wrist. Good work. And the other way. And then we're going to play the piano. Cookie knows how to play the piano. <laughs> and then we're going to shake it out, shake it out. You did a great job today, and we're really happy you joined us. We hope you're feeling better, a little stronger, and a little stretchier, a little more flexible. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you real soon. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.